this is a turning point. This will change the face of everything in this country. The JMB money line app. <laughs> it's finally here. And in this video, I'm going to do a tutorial, a rundown of how you can use this app. And more importantly, I'm going to show you a little breakdown of the stocks that I own. And it's that time of month where I have to top up my portfolio, meaning I have to buy a stock. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. And if this sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Now, what is the JMMB Moneyline platform? Well, just like every other banking institution has their online or mobile platform, this is what JMMB Moneyline is. Now, this platform allows you to transfer money to local accounts, international accounts, and between your JMMB accounts also. It allows you to pay bills, do loan repayment, top up your pension fund, and also buy and sell stocks. Now the platform for the longest while was just based on a website. Meaning that you would have to use Google, Safari, or Internet Explorer to access this platform. And you would do this by going onto JMMB's website and then looking for Moneyline. But now they've up them game, new level unlocked, and they have an app that you can access from your mobile phone. And they have included everybody. So you don't have to worry if you use Android. You know you can get it. And the Apple people, you know them can't live for. We, we have it on our platforms. You can just go on the Android store or you can either go on the Apple App Store. So whip out your phones, jump on the App Store and download the JMMB Moneyline app. And it will look like this right here. This is the app icon right here on screen. And in the meantime, while this app is being downloaded, you can just like the video or just subscribe to this channel. You know, we wait for you like, yeah man, we know, we not support the thing, so just show me some support by liking the video. All right, cool. So now this is the JMMB Moneyline app and we are on the first page, which is the login page. So just put in your login information like username and password, then press login. Now, once you have entered the correct information, it's going to ask for an OTP verification. And if this is the number that you use to sign up with your JMMB account, then they will send the OTP, which is a five digit or a five numerical code to your phone. So this is added security, which is great because we know that cyber attacks are on the rage right now. So at least we'll have something that makes us feel secure. And to take it another step further, you also have to put in your security question and answer in order to log into this app. Now, when you put in all of that, you are hit with the dashboard. We are on the money line app. You know what people happy for this? Like, yeah man, gonna lead now, gone, gonna lead. So a couple of things right here off the bat, you have the portfolio summary, which is the first thing that you're looking at. And this just gives you a breakdown of your assets or just a breakdown of how your money is spread across your JMMB accounts. If you have multiple accounts on the JMMB platform. So I have my savings account and I also have my stock or my equity money market account, which is the Emma account, the stocks account. Plus you can see that the asset allocation is also color coded. So you can see for me right here, available cash 10,800 and something, non-cash meaning your investments, money that you have invested, which is not liquid per se, is $2 million, yeah. $2 million. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get the answer now that people have always been asking, how much money you have invested? $2 million. It fluctuates, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. So that's why I don't really give that information because it won't necessarily help you because some people are saying, how much money I have invested to get these returns? Because it merely depends on when I bought that stock that will give me that dividend yield. So I could buy Let's say Carreras from Carreras was at $6, but no, Carreras is at $8, almost $9. You wouldn't get the same dividends even if you invested the same dollar amount in Carreras right now as if you would have invested when it was $6. My dividend yield would be higher than yours. So that's why I don't really give a dollar amount to how much I have invested because it won't necessarily guarantee you the same return, which you shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't be following 
what I invest. I'm just showing you my journey to give you the inspiration to start your own investment journey and not copy me. So on that portfolio summary page, you can see that we have two dots right below the net position. That means that we could scroll to the right. And this wheel gives you the fund distribution. And in my instance, it's mostly JMMB investments. So if we look down further, we will see the all accounts tab. Let's click that, the lines that look like it's mixing, like a mixer board, like you can do some changes. And here you can select the accounts that you want to be shown on the main screen. So let's say I want only the investments to be shown. Then it only shows the JMMB investments right here which is my EMMA account and my EMMA balance. And if I filter, you can filter by checking account or my equity account, or it will filter by currency if I have a USD or Jamaican account. So let's look down a little further. You will see home transfer, bill pay, or stocks. Let's go to transfer. Now this is just nice because this shows me that I can transfer between my accounts. So if you have the bonus saver, if you have the easy saver, and if you have an Emma account, you can transfer money between those accounts. You could also transfer to other JMB accounts, meaning that if you have a friend and you have a JMB account, you can transfer like that. Or you could transfer to other local accounts. So if you have a Squash, a JN, a Sajikor, uh, Barita. So any other local institutions, you could transfer from the app also. And then finally, if you want to do a wire transfer, if you want to transfer to international accounts like me, I have an international account. I can transfer from my JMMB app now to international accounts. Now let's jump to the bill pay section. And to me, this is so convenient because who is actually standing up in lines and paying bills? And trust me, some people do it, but me personally, I have the time for that. Like the convenience of paying over an app and you know that it can reach within a day or two, yeah man, it's nice. Just make sure that you don't pay the bill on the appointed day. If the bill due tomorrow, pay it today, you know? Like, you don't want to cut off, you don't want to shame, you don't want to embarrass me, everybody flick on light in our community. Are you just in the darkness, my old friend? <laughs> But let's see how many payees they have on, on, on this platform. Yeah, so I want you to select a country. Yeah, man, Jamaica may pay from. And you're going to select a biller, meaning whoever you're going to pay the bill to. Wow. Look all them here. <laughs> so you have a lot of financial people. 365 Finance Limited, Access Financial Limited, Advantage General, people who want to pay them insurance, EM Financial Corporation, Allied Insurance Brokers, Auto Smart Insurance, BPM Financial, Betting and Gaming, Lotteries Commission, C Sport, people who love them Premier League football like me, you can't watch it there, so College of Arts, Science and Education, all KS, COK, so Solidarity. No man, but me never know so, so much, you can't even pay Belgium Embassy. Watch it, First Heritage, GK, copy my insurance yesterday. A whole heap of bills this man. Like, oh, no, all right. Oh, no, all right. No, no, nothing to worry about whenever, whenever, when you decide to pay. No bills. No good. So as normal, you would just add your PAE nickname if you have any. Add the account number and enter your name, the name on the account. And you should be good to go. You can submit a PAE easy. Plus, on the bill pay section, you can check the activity. Now, this is good because... Most of the times you have to look on your statement balance to see the activity of how you pay a bill. Like you can say, I want to pay to the wrong account. I want to send double money to JPS. It happened to me once. So now you can go on the activity section. I have no transactions here though, but you can go on the activity section. You can see the people that you pay bills to, which is good. I like that. Great way to track and budget. Now for what a lot of people are here for, the stocks page. So this is the page where you can buy and sell your stocks. You don't have to log in for your laptop anymore. You can do this from the comfort of your phone. Easy access, easy screen to look at. So we can search a stock right here, but if we look down further below, you see the symbol price and the market value, that header right there. These are the stocks that I currently have in my portfolio. So this was why my portfolio was heavily weighted in finance because I have the Mayberry bonds here, the tranche three and the tranche four. So in my portfolio, I have some Trans Jamaica Highway. I have some SVL, which is Supreme Ventures Limited. I have the Cygnus 10.5 preference share. I also have some NCB. I have some Mayberry investments. So they're bond, both of them. And I have the GK, Fesco, Carreras. As you can see, 
It's showing you the ticker symbol, which is CAR, stands for Carreras, and it's also showing you the amount of units that you own, which is very good. It's showing you the last traded price. If you go back further to the right, you can see the last traded price. And you could also see the market value, which is the value of the individual stock that you have right now, the amount of money that you have invested in that stock. So for all the people who want to say, how much money you have invested in certain stocks and how much money you put in your stock to make sure you get this amount of money. As I said before, the price of me buy it at would be different from the price that you have it at. Even if we invest the same amount of money, I may get more returns than you or you may get more returns than me. I bought at a lower price. So the price that you're seeing here, the market value, isn't necessarily what I spent on that stock. If we scroll further over to the right now, this is where we can see the gain or loss in dollar or percentage amounts. Now, what you can also do is that you could click on the individual stock. So let's click on SVL and you will see data as of trading date on SVL. So you can see the status that the market is currently closed. Yes, I do this before I go work, which is soon because I have work at 8. I am here at almost 10 to 7 filming this. So you can see the, the quantity owned. So I own 11,000 shares of SVL. You can see the market open price. So it opened at $25.06 and it closed at $25.35. But before we buy and sell, let's scroll down even further. We could go down to the buy queue, the sell queue and the last trades. Now this is where GMMB stands above the rest. Whenever the market is live, you are able to see the queue. And the queue just shows you the price at which people are willing to sell at and the price that people are willing to buy at. So if you go on the market and you have $10,000 and you want to buy some shares, you can see the price at which somebody is selling it at, which is the ask. So you don't have to guess how much somebody is willing to sell something for. You could easily go into the sell queue and you can see that the number one spot on the sell queue, this person is selling 39,812 shares of SVL at a price at $26.03. So if this price suits you and, and you are okay with the trade, then you could go ahead. And this is a good way for your purchases, your buys or sells to go through quickly, same day on the market. Because if somebody is willing to sell it at $26, then you could possibly say that uh, meet you halfway, I want $25, but that trade won't go through unless somebody's willing to sell for $25. So if you want your buy order to go through quickly, just buy it from this person who is selling it at $26. Hopefully my explanation is clear. You could also look at the buy queue. So somebody is willing to buy for $25.20. So somebody is willing to sell for $26, somebody is willing to sell at $25. So the trade won't meet unless somebody makes a compromise. Either the buy person goes up to the sell person price or the sell person goes down to the buy person price. And that's how the queue works. That's how you can look at the queue and do your shopping. So for me who loves the DCA, which is dollar cost averaging, and if you want to know what that is about and that is my investment strategy, that's how I buy stocks then you could watch the video up here and it will give you an explanation. So if a person like me and if my average stock price is around $26, then that $26 would be a good price for me to buy at. But you know, I'm mean, gonna just talk it, I'm gonna show it because it's that time of month where I dollar cost average. So I am going to buy $10,000 worth of SVL right now. So I'm going to buy. So this first box right here has a lot of information. So it's showing me that the current price of SVL is $25.35. That's what the market quotes it at, but that's not the price that somebody is selling it at. It's also showing me that my available balance or the balance that I can trade is $10,000, $225, which is good. Now for the order type, you could either buy in shares or dollars. I prefer to buy in dollars because with shares, I don't want to do any calculation to say, um, so how much? $10,000, how much shares that work out to me? And I move to the match, so just click the dollars. So when I click dollars now, I can put that I want $10,000 worth of SVL. Order type, I'm going to put limit. If I should say market, then whenever the market opens tomorrow, let's say it goes up to $26.50, then my purchase would go through at that price. And let's say it's a price that I'm not comfortable with, then I would buy at a price that I'm not comfortable with. But I am comfortable with whatever somebody is selling it at, which is $26.
Well, the market price right now is at $25.35, which is not bad, but I'm going to put it at the limit. And my limit price is going to be $26. That's the highest I want to buy it at since my portfolio is around $25 averaging. So $26 is a good price for me. Execution date, I want that to be executed Friday morning. So I want it to be executed Friday. So I just click the 23rd. Duration, I only want it to be a day order. I don't want it to go over the day since the market even closed after Friday to close for the weekend. So just a day order. So I'm going to review $10,000. I'm going to do a limit price at $26 and I want it to be executed tomorrow, February 23rd, only for a day to be enforced. Then I click buy. And if all of that looks good to me, then I can just click submit. Now I have to wait on another OTP in order for this transaction to fully go through. Boom, and the order has been submitted and I love this. So this gives me a receipt of my order. Plus, JMB is also sending me an email to say that your equity buy was successfully submitted. So whenever it is submitted to the system, it is in the system. I am in the queue and just waiting for somebody to sell me some shares at that price, <laughs> you know. And whenever it is executed, then I'll get an email to say that my transaction has been completely executed and the shares are going to be in my account. And we can download my receipt for record tracking for my budgeting purposes. This is great. And I can just click done. So if I should go back to the stocks page and click order status, then it will show me that I had sent through a buy order for Supreme Ventures Limited and it was approved. And now I'm just waiting on it to be executed tomorrow morning. But if it doesn't sit right with me and I made a mistake and I need to cancel my order, all I have to do is just go into the same order status, click on that transaction, scroll down to cancel, and I could cancel the order. So let me just go back to home right now. Yep, so that's the JMB Moneyline app. It's the same as the Moneyline platform, just app-wise. But if you want to use a bigger screen, you want to be on your computer, then you can just watch this video right here of me showing you how I buy stocks on the JMB Moneyline platform, the website version. Anyways, work hard, make money, and happy investing. And just watch this video right here. I'll be waiting for you over there.